Alright guys and welcome back to Schumacher's Legacy. Today we are in Russia. No changes to the car which doesn't bode well after South Africa. But in what is a rainy start to qualifying I'm hoping it might be a bit more rainy later on as well. We can really get in there with everyone having to stay on like inters but unlikely. Sorry about the cut there just have to have a quick cough. Anyway let's get into qualifying and hopefully can work in our favour. So here comes Mick to do his lap. What can he pull out the bag? It's just started to rain, just on the start of his lap. That will infuriate him a little bit. He's drying up again now, but I think it's just enough to put him off. And in the end, it is second behind Ocon. And now Timo Glock coming up for his lap. What can he do? Can he go quick? Can he go quicker than Schumacher? As the rain starts to come again. And I think that may stop that from happening now. But yeah, he's 1.1 off and it's just getting wetter and wetter. And Timo Glock has just about timed this incorrectly. And he goes 11th. So we've made it in to Q2 here. 10th and 12th we're Mick and Timo. Thanks to the rain, Charles Leclerc, Pierre Gasly, Carlos Sainz, Daniel Ricciardo and Valtteri Bottas all failed to do a slick lap. We managed to do it with both drivers. Got it wrong, probably. There was a little slot where you probably could have timed it so you got them all on a perfectly dry lap throughout. Both had a bit of rain in their laps, which would have slowed them down a little bit. We do know the car isn't as quick as others and Max on Inters was quicker than both of our cars, whereas Lewis was just quicker than Timo. So we're going to get into Q2 and hopefully not be 15th and 14th. So here comes Mick, his lap in Q2. What can he offer? He's basically four attempts down after sector one. That's got a bit further. He's now a second down after sector two. This is wary, very wary and it's 1.4 seconds down. Overall, I feel sorry for Timo. It started raining on his outlap, and unfortunately, I think that means he's not going to get a decent lap. Yeah, he's 1.3 seconds down already. It's not going to happen for him, unfortunately. He'll be a lot further down now, 3.5 seconds down. And as he comes around the corner, he's going to end up about six seconds off, which puts him 11th at the moment. But yeah, I don't see him going to be happy with that at all. The rain came, there was only a small window, but it does mean Mick Schumacher should theoretically be in Q3, which is insane. And right now it looks like Timo Glock is going to be qualifying in P11, which is a fantastic qualifying from us. Vettel once again fastest, but Mick Schumacher is in Q3. So there we are, Timo Glock qualifies in 11th place. Sergio Perez and Max Verstappen 12th and 13th, Lando Norris 14th and Yuki Tsunoda 15th. So we are sending Mick out early as the rain just about starts to affect his lap. It's very heavy rain. I don't know if there's going to be another time to do slick tyres. That's why we've sent him out early. And I think we may just lose it all a little bit here. As he comes round... He's not, Hamilton isn't going to lose a second, put it that way, you wouldn't feel. He lost a bit of time to Schumacher in that last sector, but not enough. So as Q3 is drawing to an end, we've come to the realisation that Mick isn't going to qualify anywhere near where he needs to, and it will be 10th place for him. And I'm not really, I don't want to use another set of softs to try and set a better lap time, because I don't think we will set the lap time we need. So we'll take 10th, 10th and 11th, absolutely spot on for us. I'm over the moon, absolutely over the moon. Let's go talk strategy. So it's very rainy. It's actually gonna be very rainy and it's gonna to get too wet, soaking track. So I'm debating whether we start on wet and have a slow few laps. But at the same time, I think there's a good six laps and I feel like we'd lose way too much time doing that. So we are going to maybe, yeah, we're going to go on to winters and we'll just pit for wet when it's wet weather weather. So, yeah, unfortunately, without the money to really build 
a new Televenture Centre, we can't actually tell what the weather's going to be like for this race, for a whole of it, but at the moment, it looks very wet. So we will start on the Inters, we'll pit for the wets, and we'll hope that wet weather's there for enough time, and hopefully they all stay on Inters, fingers crossed. And the grid for the Russian Grand Prix is Lewis Hamilton on pole, Sebastian Vettel starts second, Fernando Alonso is third alongside Kimi Raikkonen in fourth, Lance Stroll starts fifth and Esteban Ocon in sixth. On the fourth row we have Antonio Giovinazzi in seventh and George Russell in eighth. In the fifth row is Nicholas Latifi in ninth and Mick Schumacher with a career best tenth qualifying. Timo Glock starts eleventh alongside Sergio Perez in twelfth. Max Verstappen is thirteenth and Lando Norris fourteenth. On the 8th row, we have Yuki Tsunoda and Charles Leclerc. In 17th place, we've got Pierre Gasly. In 18th is Carlos Sainz. And on the back row is Daniel Ricciardo and Valtteri Bottas. So we look to get a good start here. Everyone's on Inters at the start, and it's not the best start. And I think Timo Glock might get past Mick here, and indeed he has. And the Red Bulls look very rapid. I think we should just let them go. Don't bother trying to battle with them. That ain't going to work for us. In fact, we are falling backwards drastically. Mick's already all the way down in 16th, maybe 17th now. And Timo Glock is going with him. Our drivers, our cars, aren't good in the rain. And the fact that it's Ricciardo and Gasly behind us probably means we're going to lose those places soon enough as well. And we are back to where we expect to be in last place. Well, so if we now put some ERS up on there and... Schumacher is past. Is that Gasly or Tsunoda? He's past well, both of them now, and so is Glock. So the Alpha Tauris are behind, and we can push a little bit. As we can see, the rain is going to get to the point where it's really heavy. We are going to pit. I've decided we're definitely pitting when it gets to that point in time. So here we go. We are pitting Schumacher this lap. We're 19th and 20th. We have absolutely nothing to lose, you know. The car's just not good enough. We have to try and do something with strategy. I'm hoping they will all stay on intermediate tyres, but obviously, probably won't. And Timo Glock is also going to be coming in the following lap for a set of wet tyres. Hopefully push us towards that back end of the, you know, back end of the race. We can get ourselves back into it. A few cars have pit for wets, you know. I do feel like there are other cars that won't be pitting for wets. That is an inevitability. Although, no, everyone's coming in. Everybody's coming in. No one's trying to stay on Inter's tactic. No one's trying that. And that means we aren't gaining anything from this, really. We aren't gaining anything at all. Apart from Timo Glock has gained a position. And Mick Schumacher has. Mick Schumacher's gained. He's up to 12th. He's gained massively from pitting early to get on the wets. He's just going to fall back, yes, but he's gained massively. What a drive that is. We can now actually probably put our engines onto high, to be fair. So we'll do that. In weather like this, where there doesn't seem to be any let up in the rain coming. And Mick Schumacher is running in 14th. So we're a lap 15, Mick Schumacher is in 17th place. Timo Glock is in 18th place. Just trying to manage this race as best we can. We've got the two Williams behind us, which I'm sure Timo Glock realises he's got. Well, it's not two Williams, sorry. Sonoda is either one. It's an Alpha Tauri. We are going to be pitting shortly. I'm thinking now, actually. We're going to pit Mick now. He'll go back onto Inters. And he'll have a few laps of being rapid on them. And then we're now on the following lap bringing Team O'Clock in. It's the same sort of strategy. Hoping Mick will gain a hell of a lot out of it again. Who knows? Going on Inters, we should be quicker, you'd like to think. So I guess we'll find out. Mick hasn't really gained anything from it, in all fairness. I think he might have even dropped places, in a, to be fair. Sonoda is trying to take them wets to the to the uh, dry weather and Lu Lance Lando Norris could be someone who drops a lot of places here hell of a lot of places so as we reach the 26th lap it's all gone wrong as you can just see there Sonoda to go past Schumacher we're 18th and 19th we're not even going to get the bonus at this rate 
but we're just waiting for that perfect time to bring these cars in. Get them pit. And I think this next lap's probably it. So we're going to bring him in the next lap. Put them on the hard tyre. So they definitely go to the end. Hopefully the parts will go to the end. I'm hoping there won't be a, a problem with that. And for Glock, we'll wait an extra lap. So then Glock will come in this lap. Same strategy. We're just going to put him on, push, it, push the tyres and try and get to the end. And in terms of it, we're 20th and 19th. Norris is yet to pit. I'd say this is now more our territory. And we should be going quite quick, but Norris has now pit. Dilemma, we're gonna ignore anything like that. We're just gonna try and get these tires to the end. We're gonna put the buff on high and push. And Norris has managed to stay ahead which is a little infuriating. We are going to finish 90 for 20th again, but for a split second, we thought maybe we weren't going to. Definitely been a lot more competitive this race, but this is where we're going to lose out massively in the dry. And as we hit the final lap, 90 for 20th, we have just completely dropped off the pace completely. No doubt about that. They were just better than us, essentially. These cars are just better than us. It's, it is what it is. And yeah, it's disappointing because at some points there, we looked really competitive and we just weren't in the end and it's just a bit, a bit sad. But all in all, we knew this season was gonna be a rough one. We knew it was gonna be full of a lot of 19th and 20th place finishes. We haven't got a quick car, we know that. Very interesting race, fun race, very fun race to be a part of. At some points it did look like we were gonna really, you know, when Mick benefited from going on the wets that lap earlier than everyone else. But all in all, it is what it is. And we'll keep pushing, we'll keep working out to try and get a car that could be competitive by the end of the season. Forever and always pushing to make that happen. But yeah, bit off the pace in the end, very much off the pace. Lewis Hamilton's winning the championship quite comfortably at the moment. We're very much in last place in the constructors. And next up, it is Canada. So, if you've enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the drama, to be fair, probably the best race we've had in terms of us, please do drop the video a like, give us a subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.